Hey, Assalamu alaikum guys, I am QHD here. So now Microsoft is releasing the Windows 11 on October 5th, 2021. The user interface has now been redesigned. You will now see Windows 11 somewhat like that transparent glass and it's no longer a Windows like logo on the desktop in Windows 11. It has been removed and now a waving cloth like wallpaper has been applied. Motion design has been taken care of in Windows 11 this time. Whether you open the start menu or go to the multiple desktops or open the notification panel or making settings, you will see everything works smoothly. You will no longer find the start button in the bottom left corner but it has now been moved to the middle of the taskbar but you have the choice to use the start button in the same place where it used to be in Windows 10. Now let's talk about what changes have been made to the start button for us. The start button has now been changed to the Microsoft logo but will look in the blue color. As soon as you click on the start button, you see something like this user interface. On the start panel, you can pin your most used applications. In addition, you will find some recommendations on the start button in which you will see what you have opened the previous applications. Also on the bottom left side, you will see your own Microsoft account and right in front of it, you will see also uh, the windows should down button. The notification panel, speaker, time and Wi-Fi, all these kind of icons will all appear in the same place as you used to see them in the previous windows. Uh, the layout of the notification panel has changed considerably. In the notification panel, you will see icons, corners, rounded, so that now every window that pops up will have the rounded corners. Also, widgets that were removed in Windows 10 are now reinstated in Windows 11, where you will see features like weather, your to-do list, calendar, traffic, and photos. You get to see the top news there. You can also customize this widgets panel, um, which can also be resized. Also, if we talk further, Windows 11 has the same apps as settings and files that were seen in the previous windows. You don't even have to worry about whether the Windows 10 application will run in this window or not. In addition to the pandemic situation, Microsoft has introduced a new application which they have named the Microsoft Team. Chat from Microsoft Team is a feature that allows you to easily connect with your friends, family and co-workers with a click. Whether it's a voice call, video call, messaging or meeting, it's just a tap away on the taskbar. With chat, you don't have to download, install and learn how to use multiple apps. It simply is part of the Windows 11 from the moment you first turn it on. Multiple desktop has also been substantially changed where you can create desktops like your work, games and home. This will make using Windows 11 even easier. Also you can personalize multiple desktops, you can change the background theme, you can shift it right or left and even rename it. A new feature has been added which allows you to open multiple apps simultaneously on a single screen. In fact the feature is not new but it has been proved. Here you will find many options on how to use multiple apps. And not only that, when you minimize multiple apps, you have to open the same apps one by one at all. That sounds very difficult, but now you don't have to do that at all. As you minimize groups of multiple apps, all of those apps in Windows 11 become a group in the taskbar. This makes easier to the open multiple app apps in the same snap layout. Whenever we attach a laptop or system with an external monitor and use multiple apps with the help of snap layout, we sometimes have to unplug the system or laptop. Then the problem is that as soon as we reconnect the system or laptop with the external monitor, we have to rearrange the apps but now we don't have to. Windows 11 remembers what was the arrangement of the snap layout when we uh, undocking and then as soon as we attach the system with the external monitor, the snap sharing just itself in the same layout as we did had left. So that's quite helpful for every those person who use external monitors. So let's talk about the Microsoft Store. The Microsoft Store has also been redesigned now. The search bar has been shifted to the center. As you try to search for something, you will see suggestions of the uh, apps in, in, in the bottom panel. New navigation pattern has been reintroduced in the store. Moreover, more than ever micro interactions, new animations, gestures, parallax effects, and lies that follow the most cursors have been introduced. The next thing which I like the most is running Android apps in Windows 11. What used to be that we had to install an emulator to run Android apps in Windows, but now you can run any Android apps directly in Windows 11 operating system or maybe indirectly. But how will it work? For this, you can easily download Android apps from Amazon App Store by going to the Microsoft 
But one thing is that not all apps are available in Amazon App Store, while all apps in Google Play Store can easily be downloaded. Microsoft didn't tell us that uh, if Android apps will run directly in Windows 11 or if there is an emulator pre-installed in Windows 11 which will help to run Android apps. So if Android apps will run directly in Windows 11, it means that if some application is not available in Amazon App Store, then we we can um, uh, run it directly by downloading Google APK files or maybe we can run APK files through an emulator. And if you use a Windows tablet, there are lots of different improvements here. As the keyboard will available in new design, you can also use emojis in it. In addition, voice recognition during typing has also been significantly improved, which will be quite helpful in voice dictation. The Microsoft has told us the minimum system requirements to install Windows 11. So if your system meets these minimum requirements, then congratulations, you can install Windows 11 in your system. Let me know in comments section below what you think of this new Windows design. And uh, I will catch you guys in the next one, inshallah.